Let's understand the cash balancing mechanism in this session. So the cash balance available from the cash flow statement could either be a positive number or a negative number here. Now, if it's a positive number, then it's the positive cash balance and we need to take it to the asset side. If it's a negative balance, then such situation in reality does not exist until it has been funded. What I mean to say is, there is no negative cash balance in reality. This could be in the form of either a bank overdraft or a cash credit or the promoter of the business funding the cash. So that's why a negative cash balance is to be represented on the liability side of the business. So depending upon whether the number here is positive, either assets get populated or if it's negative, then the liabilities get populated. So let's start with an if formula. If the number that is the cash balance above, if it is more than or equal to zero, then assets get populated. Otherwise, it is zero. So for example, if this number is 100, assets will have $100 of cash flow there. Otherwise, Let's add one more if formula, wherein if this number is less than zero, then the number is shown on the liability side, but with a changed sign or zero. So let's add the changed sign here. So now you can note that if the balance becomes minus 100, then the assets become zero and liabilities increase by hundred dollars. So that is the simplest way of dealing with positive as well as negative cash balance in your model. However, in reality, when you have a surplus cash balance of hundred, that generally is not lying idle. Any businessman with a good business acumen and prudence will invest this cash which will fetch that business a minimum return on investment. Similarly, when there is a negative cash balance, the source which will provide such funding will not provide such funding for free. So there will be an interest expense on such balance, which is similar to an interest income on the surplus cash balance. So in our model, we will have to figure out these two situations and deal with them. The surplus cash that we have in our model, we will invest in short term investments and the negative cash type of a situation that we have in our model, we'll deal with that through our promoter loans. So in our next session, we are going to complete the two remaining line items 